So we're here at the ITU in Geneva, and we're at a workshop organized by Study Group 11, uh, looking at global approaches on how to combat counterfeiting and stolen ICT devices. Uh, Rushtam, welcome, and thank you very much indeed for joining us here today. Thank you very much. Amazing event, amazing discussion. Thank you. And perhaps you could explain to our viewers, you know, what, what's the situation in Russia when it comes to counterfeit and stolen ICT devices? Oh yeah, uh, unfortunately the situation is not perfect, but we work hard to improve that. And uh, in our opinion, the main challenges, the main issues uh, related with uh, uh, counterfeiting is uh, uh, counterfeit medicines. It's a very social significant problem because uh, usually these counterfeit medicines uh, correspondingly directly to the most expensive medicines. And uh, I'll say it's stolen phones. Today we use cash less. We have a lot of different electronic payment systems and they're very convenient. And in that way, pickpocket thieves mostly focus on the mobile phones mm -hmm. and ICT devices and uh, ICT variables. So uh, the third one is uh, uh, not certified or non-legal. Uh, phones and uh, also luxury goods. Last year, uh, the percent of fake luxury goods is increasing also. So, um, evidently that uh, we have to create a system to identify these uh, items, to make it universal system, but unfortunately no, none of uh, existing uh, approaches not satisfy all the requirements and it cannot be used to identify any item. So in that way, uh, we suggested a new solution based on use of uh, different identifiers for specific uh, object, but uh, the same management uh, level, uh, management of data, management of that identifiers. That is our solution, and we have implemented that in Russia, and we have some very interesting result. And I think that uh, this approach have very high potential. Mm -hmm. And uh, more specifically, um, what kind of identifiers are we looking at and are, are they really effective in uh, minimizing uh, counterfeiting and theft in ICT devices? Yeah, that is the point. Uh, for mobile phones, we use IMA, MAC address, ID of software and uh, anything other we can use uh, related with uh, hardware or software on this phone. If we're talking about goods, if we're talking about, for example, medicines, we can use NFC QR codes and uh, we make a photo of the package and all that uh, integrated data stored in a server and when you buy this item you can check is it legal or not using that data from a server. So we have individual approach to every individual object but the same management layer. Mm -hmm. So it seems like that there are you know, a variety of solutions out there and approaches, um, but more specifically, what kind of work should take place in Study Group 11 if we want to solve this issue, especially from uh, the perspective of uh, identifiers? In my opinion, this approach should be uh, implemented worldwide. For that, we have to standardize approaches for uh, data record, for management of the data worldwide, and uh, to uh, determine the architecture. I think that's the main aims of standardization in that field. And of course, we have to increase the reliability of this data. And I think that uh, approach using blockchain for that, suggested by, by our colleagues, it's a really good solution for that. Mm -hmm. I believe in it. Okay. Well, thank you, Rostam. I'd like to thank you for your time and uh, wish you a successful workshop and continuation in Study Group 11. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.